Hi, I'm Mike from 1A Auto. We've been selling auto parts for over 30 years. Hey everyone, Sue here from 1A Auto, and today I'm going to show you how to do an outer tire right end on a 2011 Ford F-150. If you need this part or any other part for your car, click on the link below and head on over to 1AAuto.com. Just a little friendly reminder, anytime you do any front end suspension or steering repairs, pre-set up an alignment appointment with your local garage or the one that you wish to do. So as soon as you're done doing DIY repairs, you can ship it on down and get lined up properly. To remove the tire, you need a 21 millimeter socket and you're gonna break the lug nuts free with the pressure of the vehicle on the tire. Now I'm going to raise and support the vehicle with a two post lift. You can use a jack and jack stands at home. Now that the vehicle's up, I can take the lug nuts off to remove the tire. And be prepared, this thing is heavy. <laughs> when you have a tire that's stuck on the hub, all the lug nuts are off. Obviously you can't pull it off. Always put a lug nut just hand thread it a little bit, so when it does break free, it doesn't bounce back at you. Always loosen the jam nut before you take anything out of the knuckle, the tire nuts, because this nut is really tight, so you need the leverage to loosen that. This particular model is a 24 millimeter wrench. As you can see, the inner tire right in is spinning. No, that's okay, I just want it jammed, I want it loose. I'm gonna loosen the outer tire right end mounting nut. It's a 21 millimeter socket. You can take that, back that nut all the way off. Now with a good size hammer, you're gonna hit the knuckle right here at the outer tire end housing. You're gonna jam that, loosen up that jam spindle part of the tire end. The object here now is to take this outer tire end off the inner. So we have to hold this inner in place and then twist the outer off. So I'm gonna use a pair of walking pliers. See if I can get a good grip on this. And I'll use the little control arm as leverage point. Let's hope that doesn't spin. I have a pair of very large locking pliers. This is a almost a must for any front end repair. Here we have the new outer tie rod end for our 2011 Ford F-150. Comes from 1A Auto. It's the same length as the factory, same curve. There is a left and a right when you're looking up the specifications. It comes with its new castle nut and its own cotter pin. So if you need this part or any other part for your car, click on the link below and head on over to 1AAuto.com.
Just reverse procedure to install the outer. And you line it up to the knuckle. Put on the new castle nut. And tighten it down. I'm just going to put the castle nut on hand tight. Stop that from popping out. The outer tie rod end socket is a 21 millimeter on this castle nut, and the torque is 85 foot pounds. And let's see if the wow, I lucked out. The cutter pin lined right up. Always, always don't forget to use a new cotter pin. With our tie rod end assembly, it comes with it. Please don't use the old cotter pin. It's worn out. There we go. Okay, now we can put the lug nuts on. Now we're just gonna bottom out all the lug nuts right to the hub, lower the vehicle, and we'll torque these down to manufacturer specs, 150 foot-pounds in the star pattern. Okay, now the vehicle has pressure on the tire. I didn't lower it all the way enough so that there's pressure on the tire, and I could torque my lug nuts, 150 foot-pounds. One more time for safe measure. Thanks for watching. Visit us at 1AAuto.com for quality auto parts, fast and free shipping, and the best customer service in the industry.